Wonderful good afternoon everyone. I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Presenting before you this tutorial is Hambil Kleman. Uh, today I'm here to teach you on roots of quadratic equations uh, together with some practice questions. So if you are new to my channel, just make sure that you subscribe and hit the like button. And uh, if you have a question, just make sure that you inbox me on this line and I'll be able to respond to you. All right, so let's get started. Roots of quadratic equations. So now if we have, let's say ABC in the equation, Y is equal to AX squared plus BX plus C, then alpha and beta can be expressed as number one, sum of roots, and also can be also expressed as the product of roots. Now, when we say the sum of roots, we are simply saying uh, alpha plus beta is equal to this B over that A. But there is a negative. This is the standard. Then when we say product of roots, we are simply saying alpha multiplied by beta is equal to C over A, which is simply this C over A positive that is the standard now we come to the important concepts that you should know these are the important concepts that one is supposed to know if you really want to understand this uh, topic well let's get started we have the first one if you have let's say um okay if you have alpha squared plus beta squared. How can this be written? This can also be written as alpha plus beta squared minus two alpha beta. Okay? So this can also be written in this form. So you must be able to know that by heart. We get to B right here. B, they are saying alpha minus beta squared. Now, for this one, it's a very uh, simple thing to do because this can also be written as alpha minus beta alpha minus beta alpha multiplied by alpha it is simply alpha squared alpha multiplied by negative beta it is simply negative negative alpha beta negative beta multiplied by alpha it is simply alpha beta negative beta multiplied by positive uh, uh, multiplied by negative beta it is simply positive um, beta squared then this and this can be brought together so we're going to have alpha squared plus beta squared minus then this can also be written as um, this can also be written as minus 2 alpha beta like that right okay now after writing like that we know that this part, we have already solved it. It is here. So this part can be replaced with this, and therefore we are going to have alpha plus beta squared minus two alpha beta minus two alpha beta, like that. Now from here, we can say that alpha plus beta squared minus this minus this, it will be 4 alpha beta. All right, so that's the, just the identity. That's what this simply means. That's what this simply means. Let's get to the other one. Which one is that? We have C. So I can write C here. So you need to understand this. Now C, they are simply saying, 
Um, they are simply saying we have alpha minus beta. Alpha minus beta. Now, this, where is it coming from? It's coming from this one here. Okay? So, in the first place, you had alpha minus beta squared. Now, we have proved that this is equivalent to alpha plus beta squared, like this, minus 4 alpha beta. Okay? Now, we can square root this and also square root this and cancel. Therefore, we are going to say that alpha minus beta is equal to the square root of alpha plus beta squared, like this, minus 4 alpha beta. Okay? It's quite simple. Very simple. We get to the other one. Okay, which happens to be D. Let's get to D. Let's get to D. All right. So now for D, D they are simply saying, we have alpha cubed plus beta cubed like that. Okay, alpha cubed, beta cubed. Now how do we answer this one? How does it go about? So this is very easy, but you are supposed to know its trig identity. Oh, sorry, uh, not trig identity, but quadratic uh, root identity. Okay, so you just have to know what, uh, when you expand this, what it will result into. So this one only results into alpha plus beta. I think the concept is the same. Minus three alpha beta. Then inside, you will put a positive sign like this okay you put a positive sign like that so that's that's the meaning of this so if you just know this by heart then automatically everything is going to be easy okay let's get to um, E so for E they are saying alpha cubed minus beta cubed. So this one, it will just be the same as this, except that some things are going to change. For example, inside there we have, we are the positive, so it will be negative this time around, cubed. So everything is going to be negative cubed, and then here we are the neg here we are the negative so this time around it's going to be a positive a positive three alpha beta then inside here we are the positive meaning inside there we're going to have a negative so it's going to be alpha minus beta like that so these are some of the basic concepts that you're supposed to know under this topic okay then let's go to f so if if they are saying that we have one over alpha plus one over beta so we can find the common denominator it will simply be alpha beta alpha into this it is simply going to be beta plus C, alpha like that beta plus alpha. Okay, so beta plus alpha is going to be the end result. And therefore, this qualifies to be our final answer. We get to the, to the other one, which happens to be G. G, they are saying that we have one over alpha squared plus one over this. Then from here, 
this is going to be alpha squared, beta squared. This into this is this, so it will be alpha cubed plus beta cubed. I'm sure you understand this. But then this is just the same as alpha cubed plus, sorry, alpha squared plus beta squared over alpha squared beta squared. I think we had proved this in the first place. So that can also be replaced with alpha plus beta squared minus 2 alpha beta over alpha squared beta squared. Like that. So these are some of the basic uh, quadratic roots that you are supposed to know by heart. If you just know these, these ones that like we have solved here, then automatically you will be able to find each and every question so simple and easy. All right. So let's get into uh, solving some practice questions. Solve some practice questions. So I think I do have some very interesting practice questions here, which we are going to do together. So make sure that you are learning something. All right. So uh, they're saying, given that alpha and beta are the roots of, so we have been given an equation here. We have been given an equation. So I can simply say A, and the equation given is simply 2x uh, to the power 2 plus 4x plus 1 equal to 0. All right. Now I know, I know that, okay, so I know that accordingly to my data, accordingly to my data, my A is simply 2, my B is simply 4, my C is 1. Let me find the sum of roots, so sum of roots which is simply this plus this, negative b over a. So you first of all find the sum of roots before you can answer a question. So the sum of roots, see, what is b? b is negative 4 over 2. Therefore, it will be negative 2, like this. Then I find the product of roots, which is simply this, which happens to be c over a like that that's the product of roots so product of roots this is going to be what is c it is one over two that's the product of the roots now we find the first uh, question which is simply saying a we are finding root three beta plus alpha beta cubed. Okay, I'm sure you've seen what we're finding. Now, how can we try to deal with this one? There's a way in which we can factorize everything. So if we factorize alpha, um, we factorize alpha beta like this, then automatically inside we're going to remain only with alpha squared plus beta squared okay like this but then we know that t, this is just the same ones remember the trig ident sorry uh, not the trig identity but the root the quadratic root identity this is simply the same as root uh, alpha plus beta squared minus 2 alpha beta like this okay okay so we have done everything here so now let's try to use what we have we try to use what we have so uh we know that this is the product of roots so what we have here is simply product of roots so it's going to be um one over two okay what we have here is the sum of roots which is simply here. Here, we found it to be negative 2. 
what we have here is simply the product of roots which is this so we know that this is just the same as 1 over 2 this is going to be positive 8 minus 1 uh, and this is uh, 0 0.5 this is simply 7 okay uh, no this is simply 4 so this is going to be cancel cancel um, 4 minus 1 this is going to be 3 uh, 0 0.5 so this is just the same as 1.5 okay if I'm not mistaken but of course this is the correct answer so that's the answer for the first question that's the answer for the first question let's get to the other question the other question they are simply saying we find we find this is B alpha over beta plus beta over alpha now how do we find this one same concept the common denominator is alpha beta this into this is simply alpha plus beta now this is the root this is the summation of roots or the sum of roots which we found to be negative 2 okay the sum of root was negative 2 over the product of roots was 1 over 2. So if you do the needful, this is just the same as negative 2 over 1 multiplied by 2 over 1. Therefore, the answer is just going to be negative 4, like this. Let's get to B. B, C, C. C. Now for C, they are saying we find alpha cubed plus beta cubed. All right, so I think in the first place we had already done an identity concerning this. We had already done an identity concerning this. Okay. So we had already done an identity concerning this. Now what's that identity? We said that this is just the same as um, it's just the same as alpha plus so if you know this by heart then automatically everything becomes easy for you everything you will be able to solve any question on this okay plus beta like that then summation of roots we found negative 2 minus 3 products of roots we found 1 over 2 that's the product that we found. Um, summation rules we found negative two. So we know that this automatically here is simply negative eight. Then this, this is going to be minus three over two. Three over two, negative two. This and this will go to be negative 8 minus uh, 3 which will happen to be uh, negative 11 if there is no mistake there so this is simply how you do these questions they are quite easy very very simple so uh, to those of you that are doing these questions you really want to try I think I have the second question there so I want you to do question two. This question, make sure that you do it, and then all the answers, you can forward them on my WhatsApp line, uh, uh, WhatsApp line, which happens to be this one, and I'll be able to respond to you. So thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe. You also share to others so that you may be able to learn more. This is simply how easy these questions are. So, thank you so much.